What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft here on Magic Online. Today we're doing a stipulation draft by Jojo MKE, and uh, it's a lady stipulation. So we're taking all of the uh, Lady Planeswalkers and Lady Legendary creatures that we can find. Uh, we're going to play as many as we can, and uh, power obviously trumps the those. So take those after. Unfortunately, this is one of the few packs where there are not that many... Uh, there are not any Legendary Ladies... <clears throat> And there are also no um, no power either, so this is rough. I think a lady. Actually, I mean, I'll take fire and ice if that, if we think that's the case. If there's if this if there's a lady holding fire and ice, I would get I can get behind that. We'll take yeah. All right, so we'll do the sword then. I think that's a fine pick. <laughs> Ugin is unfortunately a gentleman. Uh, so is Garrick. <clears throat> Exquisite Firecraft, that is a Chandra on there. Um, the stipulation was um, legend legendary creatures and legendary planeswalkers, but if we just have to take regular creatures or cards with, with, with ladies on them, I think that's fine as well. So um, No no gender assumption jokes, please. No no gender assumption jokes. Uh, I probably will just take the Ugin. I think it's uh Death Red Shaman, I don't think so. I think I think Deathrite Shaman is male, but um, I don't think there's anything in this pack that necessarily <clears throat> I might just take the Ugin because it's Ugin. I think we're going to do that. And it's also colorless, so uh, a Mirror Angel. Not legendary, though. Tezzeret, not le not. But this is this is just not. This is just not how this worked very well. We I think we did a similar. I said this before we started recording, but I did. We did a similar similar stipulation uh, in Modern Cube. I think it was Zaxor who suggested it, and um, it worked out very very well. Geist of Saint Traft actually makes an angel. That's the, like Silvermate. That's literally what I was thinking. So I was like, let's do that. <clears throat> I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. And also, I like it with the uh, sort of fire and ice. So, um, wonder if it's just balance here. Well, the thing about the real angels is that a lot of them aren't legendary. Like Lyra is, is legendary, but Bane Slayer Angel is not. I think in the in the interest of safeness here, I'm thinking I'm just going to take the Marsh Flats. Um, I don't think there's any card in this pack that's particularly better than Marsh Flats. Especially when we don't know what we're doing yet. Nissa, perfect, perfect. Um, this is also one of the, in my opinion, one of the better planeswalkers. I think this card's very strong. Making four fours is very, very good. Uh, Elspeth, okay. Now, now it's all happening. It's all coming together. Is safeness even a word? <laughs> um, no, it's probably not. <clears throat> Oh my goodness, this is this is great. Shieldred also legendary, but uh, I think we're just going to go with the Lyra because reasons. I don't see any reason to go into black here when we can uh, <clears throat> when we can just take the the white card. We do have a Marsh Flats, but American English is made up of not words, so um, that is worth worth considering there. Not legendary. Not not a lady. Alright. Legendary, but not alright. Hmm. I don't like sort of fire and sort of light and shadow. Not a big not a big light and shadow fan. Maybe it's just Angel of Serenity here. I can see taking Angel of Serenity. Oh, actually search I like Search for Mar a lot just because we do have Geist of St. Traft and we have uh several five drops. So if we do want to play the Geist <clears throat> we can do that. Silverblade Paladin, not terrible with something like Geist of St. Draft or even Lyra, so. Not sure we'll be playing it, but. I feel like the um, the Lady Stipulation always ends up in green-white. Deathrite Shaman, we already have Marsh Flats. Sky Marcher Aspirant, we are not a Sky Marcher Aspirant deck. I think we actually just want the Arbor Elf due to... Uh, Several three drops. However, 
Death Rite Shaman is probably just better, right? But we're not black. Could just take Garrick Relentless and go Mono Planeswalkers. I want to take the Elf. I think it's probably better. Hey, Mirror Angel came back. Came back. It came back. Primal Command. We can also search for something. I don't think we're going to play a Mirror Angel if we get it. We probably play Primal Command. I like both of these. I want to take the Harmonize. I'll take a Flicker Whisk. Flipper, Flicker Whisk could be. Could be a lady. What do you think about the Just Spoiled 7 7 Esper Chicken Elder thing? Chromium? Uh, I think Chromium looks fantastic. I'm a big fan of that card. That has. Oh, a Fraley's. And a Jace the Mind Sculptor. And an Ulamog. And a Bird of Paradise. That's a beautiful thing. And a Restoration Angel. Um. It's got to be Fraley's. Yeah, I actually have no problem taking a Fraley's here. What up, stupid Jawa? <clears throat> yeah, Fraley's is great. I never mind taking a Fraley's. First picking Fraley's is a little interesting. But um, I'm still fine with it. Path to Exile and a Stoneforge. We're going to take the Stoneforge in case we get like something like a Batter Skull or a Jitte. We also already have a Sword of Fire and Ice. Jay Ghosh, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. I like Path a lot, but Stoneforge Mystic is pretty baller. Did you just say baller? What does that even mean? I'm going to take Banishing Light. Seems good. You're a one drop. Stop pretending otherwise. Oh god. Is this a random taco song again? I... <sighs> and we're done. Teferi. Sylvan Library is nice. I don't think we've been able to take a Sylvan Library in this cube yet. <clears throat> Concealed Courtyard is good, but we're not playing black yet. Uh, ideally, we'll get like a Hollowed Fountain or something so we can splash this Geist of St. Traft. I don't want to have to play an island if I don't need to. I like a Woodfall premise a lot, but we're not really ramping in anything, and Sylvan Library is really strong. I like making sure our green-white deck um, has efficient ways to draw cards. And so far, we have some library harmonize. Salty, you've never ate a taco in your entire life? That sounds ridiculous. I like Elvish Mystic here, but I also like Celestial Colonnade. How have you never eaten a hot dog? A, a taco. <laughs> he called the <clears throat> he called the taco a hot dog. Splice is a lady, but if it's not a legendary creature or a planeswalker, um, I'm going to try to steer clear, especially because we have a ton of three drops already. I think you are missing out. I think if you get the opportunity, you should definitely try some tacos. Um, I think it's Colonnade. I don't think we're even that... Mystic seems good with Ugin, but Ugin just exiles the Mystic. Dos, Dos Angels. Neither legendary, though. Vraska actually is... Vraska is something I will take. And we can splash her off of the Marsh Flats. I actually like that a lot. Yeah, we're going to take this Vraska. Face Fetters is also very, very good. But... That's not how things work. Oh, I like Jade Light Ranger a lot. I like it probably over like Silverblade Paladin or Flicker Wisps. I'd like to cut down on the white if I could because I don't really think we want to have that many double white cards. We have a bunch of the green decks usually want green on turn one for all the things they're doing. So, hmm, it's probably just Gideon here, right? Is this a Eureka deck with when we have like all these late game Planeswalkers and legendary creatures? I almost kind of, like, I, I'm i very, very um, convinced that cards like Eureka and, and Show and Tell are traps in this cube, but 
We do a lot of planes. Eureka has the the um, the benefit of being able to put planeswalkers into play. I'm going to take the Gideon because I think it never is Eureka. But I think it could have been Eureka. I think it's definitely Bird here. The Zoic. I've been actually streaming at 2 p.m. Eastern time for, God, about four or five months now. It's been a while, so... So if 2 p.m. works for you guys, Eastern. Oh, wow, the path came back? Oh, that's great news. So we're splashing like Geist of St. Trapped and Vraska. That's, that's something. Also tempting to take the unburial rights, but we don't have that many creatures really worth unburialing. Unburialing. Unearthing. Well, let's see, there you go. Now we've now we've come to the root of the problem. Um Yeah, I definitely feel like we're in the right colors here. I wanna take this song. Song is very versatile. All the dragons on Turk here did have genders. Um Silimgar and Ojitai were, I believe, the only male dragons. The blue dragons were male. And every other male, every other dragon was female. Do you just play Mana Tide and get him? Monastery Mentor, also not not terrible. I'm going to take the Mentor. Because we have a lot of Planeswalkers and, and non-creature spells in this deck. And if we can go, like, Mentor into Harmonize into, like, Planeswalker, it's not terrible. And, of course, Elvish Mystic comes back. Because, of course, it does. Tooth and Nail and Archangel of Thune? God, we're like the not a tooth and tooth and nail deck at all, but I will take this Archangel of Thune. Wow, we are definitely in the right colors, that is for sure. I wonder if this is a moat deck. We have Lyra, Archangel. Elspeth gives the guys flying. Ugin, Vra like we can just win with our planeswalkers. I wonder if this is a moat deck. I wonder if this is a Razor Rouge Thicket deck. We're definitely not a Cradle deck. We have 10 creatures right now. I think I probably just want the fixing, to be quite honest. I don't like it, but I think it's actually the best card for us. Especially if we're planning on splashing things like Geist or Vraska. And ideally, the moat might even come back. Temple Garden is probably where we want to be. Primeval Titan could also be where we want to be. Appreciate passing the Chandra. I don't actually... Uh, I feel like once we're in these colors, like we're not going to have a hard time uh, finding the Angels. I think we're going to have to take Linvala here because obvious reasons. Ideally, this Primeval Titan comes back, but I don't see it happening. So, um, Temple Garden, Scrubland, or Golgari Signet are also fine the table if we get those dragon lord jamoka that is a legendary female interestingly enough legendary lady if you will also mother of runes the uh the pen the penultimate uh magic mom Getting of the trials. I Noble Hierarch is actually better than Noble Hierarch is actually the pick, I think. Garrick Wildspeaker is great though. I think it's gotta be Noble Hierarch. Yeah, it's definitely a Hierarch. Uh and we can cut probably cut Arbor Elf at this point. Council's Judgment is fantastic. This card, I, I, this is a card that deals with everything from Blightsteel Colossus. It even deals with Progenitus because you can actually just name Progenitus. You you vote for it. You don't actually target it. So, um, that's a pretty easy pick here. I'm going to assume Progenitus is not is not a woman. Is not a lady. And that even if it were, it would be okay to pass because that is uh, not an excessively reasonable card to to take there. Put song in the sideboard. 
Like, now that we have Noble Hierarch and Bird of Paradise, I feel pretty okay with the, the, the Geist Splash. I like Angel of Sanctions a lot. My biggest problem with um, the green-white deck is that you get so many 5-drops. I'm actually probably just going to take Master of the Wild Hunt here. We have Banishing Light and Council's Judgment as removal. We also have... We have Fraley's for artifacts and enchantments. Vraska for enchantments and artifacts. We have Ugin. Yeah, we're probably just taking Master here. Master's pretty versatile. I don't think we want Rev with double... Oh, we can have the Karn and Ugin in this deck. That's pretty good. I'm assuming passing this Chandra is also okay because it fits the same... Uh, I think we're just playing Karn and Ugin here. We're just ramping towards it all. <laughs> Progenitus is the card that's always in your hand whether you like it or not. Yeah, it transcends gender actually. It, uh, it's always in the hand. Iron Chef Sammy, we are doing a stipulation. That is correct, buddy. Olivia. I'm going to take this Reclamation Sage. Um, this I'm going to take this female over this, this Legendary female, and hopefully that will be reasonable. I assume we can stick to the colors at this point. I think we got a bunch of Legendary... Legendary, non-Legendaries. This, remember this one, guys? First pick. It's okay. That's uh, they're, they're holding it. No, no, hierarchy can go here. And the moat did come back. Wow, that's pretty sweet, actually. Yeah, just gonna take the moat here. Oh my god, both the temple garden and the scrubland came back. Whew. I almost like scrubland better because we can get it with marsh flats. And we don't actually have another black source in the deck. Wow, that's really good. Avacyn's Pilgrim came back. And Mother of Runes. The, the thing about Scrubland that I like is that we don't actually have to... Uh, we don't have to play a Swamp if we take the Scrubland. We can just play the Scrubland and the Marsh Flats and the... What up, Denmark? I want to take the Pilgrim. We don't have that many creatures, so I'm not too concerned with... I want to take Kitchen Finks because I think we can... Mirror Crusader is also good. Bunch of good sideboard cards. There's Angel of Sanctions came back. All right, that's cool. And the Knight came back as well. Sure. Wow. We could actually probably go just mono white here. That's that's pretty funny. Uh, okay. Well, we have a lot of cuts to make. You're gonna go in the one spot. I think we can do with. I think Birds Pilgrim and Noble Hierarch. See, the good thing about Pilgrim is that if you have a green source, it gives you a white source, right? You could have, uh, if you have Elvish Mystic, you, you use a green source to get another green source, which means there's no guarantee you're going to have a white source. All right. Um, take out the Gideon. I'm going to take out the Geist. I don't think we actually need the Geist of St. Traft. I think we're actually going to, I think we're going to lean toward this moat plan. I don't think Stoneforge is good enough here. I don't think Selfless Spirit is good enough here. I think like our top end is just fantastic. This deck looks great. And we can easily not play Colonnade, which is cool. Oh, I didn't touch. Oh, I, I uh, Selfless is okay with mode. I mean, it's just a 2-1 flyer. Leave the ladies. That is, yeah, that is, that is the intention here. Notice, if you will, I, did, I tried not to cut any of them because that doesn't seem reasonable. I, I mean, Stoneforge Mystic, obviously, because we only have Sword, but... I think everything else is good, but we need one more cut. I am definitely not calling Karn that. It's not... Not only Legendary Ladies are in the deck, but all Legendary Ladies are in the deck. one more cut or we can just play 41 I think we're just playing 41 
I don't feel like making that decision. We can actually play one swamp here. We only have one black source, right? One, two. Because search gets a swamp, which is nice. Um, and we only have no. So we have three black sources. Be four black sources, which I think is totally fine. Six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, seven, eight. Yeah, we're definitely going one, one extra there. Oh, there's only 15 lands. Wow, we get two more lands here. Sort by color. Yeah, we definitely want. We can add one and one. So this is, that's both. This is only black, or this is only white, rather. So we have eight sources of white. No, nine sources of white. Seven, eight sources of green. And nine sources of white, that doesn't seem right. So this is nine, this is eight. That seems good. Uh, I don't think, I think Rex Sage is a, an extremely, this is the vintage cube, so I think, I think Rex Sage is extremely uh, valuable in the main deck. Yeah, bird is a black source. That's what we said. We said bird, marsh flats, and scrubland. That's our three sources. So we wanted a swamp because we it's four sources. Yeah, I think this deck looks sweet. All right, let's see what happens. In it to win it. Yeah, I like that we have we have a lot of strong female protagonists, and we also have strong uh, female supporting lead characters like Archangel of Thune and uh, Reclamation Sage and Jade Light Ranger and Noble Hierarch, and I think that might be it. still pretty good though i think master of the wild hunt's great just because we can uh just kill things like it's just more rule i will play first i'm actually going to keep this hand because we can cast everything we draw if we happen to draw a sword with a bird it's just fantastic i mean this is basically like a mox right it's just bird of paradise just mox on turn one Well, that's not a sword. Get in there, bird. So now we actually have a turn three, turn turn three five drop, which is pretty sweet if we draw one. We have a bunch, so. Ideally, they're not going to uh, kill both of these guys. I don't think there's a card that does that. Okay, sure. Well. If we could stop drawing lands, that would be great. All right, that's fine. Well, one, two, three, four, five. I mean, if we if they didn't kill this noble hierarch, we actually have a card next turn, which. Would which is pretty gas. Okay, we did it. Oh, did we just play that? I feel like we just play that, right? <sighs> Don't have it. <laughs> I'm so tired of getting got by Mana Drain, dude. Oh, I'm so tired of it. All right, well, sometimes they just have the Mana Drain. Wow. This is, these are very interesting plays. So 
we put you to four, they just kill you with Celestial Colonnade. Yeah, any card with mana in the title. I, I was getting a ghosty vibe from that. I was like, that's weird because you knew to kill the Noble Hierarch and you knew to kill... You, you, just, you just ran this guy out there to get rid of a bird. It's very interesting. I mean, they just one, two, three, four, five. They tap out to colonnade and kill Nissa if we attack. But I guess we get a four, four out of it. A trick. We could also untap two and kill this. And then you can't activate this if you don't have a land. I think we're just going to make a guy. Because if we get to untap with. With Nissa, we get to still. Uh... We can't do both. Well, we could, yeah. <sighs> All the value. It's not even. It's not even good times anymore. Yeah, and they had another land anyway, so I don't see the... Uh... Yep. I'm going to go to the Ojitai. I think the Ojitai is stronger. I mean, they have one card in hand, so we could very well be in good position here if we get to land this card at some point. Well, that's pretty good. Thankfully, all of our best threats are uh, Planeswalkers. So they can get like Archangel of Thune, which is pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think that's pretty much game. Like 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, we go to 2. Yep, that was not what we needed. I mean, Jamoka is just a better better Lyra. It's a 5, 7 instead of a 5, 5 that also has lifelink and uh, says I can't play things on their turn. So, all right. Uh, Moat does not seem good in this matchup. I agree with you. Like Jess guy. I almost like Geist of St. Traft here, but it's not, I don't think it's efficient to cast Geist of St. Traft. Like, we have Birds and Noble Hierarch, but we'd have to add, like, the Colonnade, and the Colonnade's not going to help us cast it on turn two, which is really what we want. I kind of like Angel of Sanctions here, though. It gets rid of, like, if, we, if we're able to get rid of one of the creatures that they stole from us, um,. Then we just get it back, so. We're on the play. We can board a knight next game when we're on the draw. I think that's actually fine. No bueno. More bueno. So we're gonna go turn one, draw this, turn two. I'm gonna put you on the bottom, unfortunately. I think you're great, but. For some reason, I think this will be good. 
I mean, I mean, you play bribery. Like, it's rarely not good. Bribery tends to be pretty okay sometimes in general. Yeah, it's generally speaking, uh, when you cast bribery, it's usually pretty okay. How do you know for sure when someone's go? You don't. I mean, I personally always check their name. I uh, I check their name against the names in the chat because a lot of times people just use the same username, which makes sense. I mean, it's not like that's that's that in and of itself isn't something wrong to do, but it is an easy way to to tell. But I mean, otherwise, there's no real way to know, unfortunately. We do need some mana here. We have a lot of we have a lot of got a, top, a high top end here. Okay. Land. It is a land. <coughs> Excuse me. So, worst case scenario, we can actually path our own noble hierarch. <laughs> if they're not doing anything and we just get to get to slam these planeswalkers next turn, I mean, obviously that's not going to happen because they're going to either have spell pierce or mana tithe for obvious reasons. But you know, Yeah, Ghosting Advantage Cube is the worst. Like, this is one of the funner formats, right? Like, you're not playing for anything serious. There's no packs on the line. It's all play points. Like, if, you're, if your compulsion to win is that strong that you ghost in uh, Vintage Cube, then, like, I mean, you're probably beyond saving at that point. It's going to be forced. Are you ready? Oh, that's pretty good. That will be good, eventually. Your pizza burn on the roof of the world's mouth. I'm gonna path our own guy because I want the the land, and I'm also gonna get a. How many double green cards do we have? We got Nissa. Quite a few, actually. Yeah, I think our odds of drawing another double green card is significantly higher than drawing another double, uh, our, our one Vraska. However, alternatively, our odds of drawing another forest is significantly higher than our odds of drawing a, um, speak of the devil. Now we get both. This is actually very good because now we get to Dramoka here. I hope they try. To, I always, I always want them to try to counter Jermoka. Jermoka seems actually great against their deck. Like if they don't have an answer for it immediately, then we get to just resolve something else the next turn. Oh, is it gonna be eight? Oh, it's okay. Mm, okay. Dang, so close. We can actually, we can actually play search and 
banishing light on Tamio. But I think we actually just want to do this. Uh, his name isn't, isn't Donald Glover's character. It's actually Troy. If you could please refer to Troy by his name, I'd appreciate it. Wrath of God. That's pretty good. Oh, they kept... Wow, they kept Dragon Lord Jamoka down, but then they... Interesting. So we can actually play search here and we can play around. I think we just want to play Banishing Light first. If they have Remand, I want to be able to replay this, so. They have five cards in hand. All right, we are on a... Uh, Pop, pop. We're on Ugin mana. Oh, that's pretty good, because now we should be able to play Ugin here, theoretically. I mean, unless they have Spell Pierce. If they have Spell Pierce, it's just sad times. <sighs> what are the odds they have Spell Pierce? Also, this doesn't actually, like... Hundred and one percent is right, huh? Yeah, we're gonna swing first in case we actually uh, block and then we get to Ugin. No, no blocks, huh? Okay, seems good. Fingers crossed. They always have it. Wow! The old four spike mana tithe spell pierce deck. Fantastic. That's unbelievable to me. We can afford to wait a turn, but the, the problem with waiting a turn is that next turn they have six mana up, so they're they're Options for counter spells are significantly higher. So if they if they do have like we're forcing them to have four spike or or spell pierce at this at this point, whereas next turn they could have any number of of counter spells. This is actually a very good draw. Um. Trying up it in the morning. I mean, they do get to kill this, and they do get to get back Angel of Sanctions, but... So they can go Angel of Sanctions, get rid of Bird of Paradise, Linvala, attack Varaska. Okay, that's, that's also fine. That's interesting, because now if, like, we can just block the Linvala... And then kill the angel again. And make more dudes. That's interesting. Bird of Paradise OP. How many times have we had to cast this Elspeth? Like 30? 30 times? I 
one time more than they had to cast uh, Angel of Sanctions, I guess. We go Elspeth, they go Angel. We go Elspeth, they go Angel again. We get Elspeth again. All right. And by cast, I mean get it back into play. I mean, even if they if they activate, okay, that's fine. <laughs> sure. I mean, we have Elspeth. If they attack Elspeth, we just get a bunch of dudes. So. I don't think we're actually scared of of Ojitai here. Like they block two, they take seven and go to one here. Okay, that'll do. I mean, they had multiple draws. That's weird. Like they have four cards in hand. Like they get a draw with this guy. They get to, like, they go to one. They're not dead. Interesting. Okay, so I don't like any of these guys. I do like you on the draw. Um, I don't actually think Lin Linvala's great here. I almost like Flicker Wisp just because they have the uh, the Angel of Sanctions part two. I mean, they had a they had Wrath of God that game, so they definitely have something. God, they also have Force Spike, Force of Force Spike, Mana Tithe, and Spell Pierce. I mean, I like Flicker with the Angel of Sanctions token that it makes. I also like Flicker Wisp with if if, them, if they bribery our guy, that actually seems pretty good. Um, I don't think we saw a ton of Reclamation Sage targets, so we can actually board Reclamation Sage out. And I think we actually might just want to board, in, board out Linvala. She just doesn't have many things to do. But for the sake of the stipulation, I think we'll keep it in. I'm going to take out Archangel of Thune. Sounds actually good. It's a turn three master. Unfortunately, if we do draw Knight of the White Orchid, we're probably not going to be in a position to play it. Unless we draw it right now. Hmm. So if we play bird, we have three mana next turn. If we play search, we can go bird this turn, search next turn, but we've seen three counter spells that would make us unable to do that. So I actually like suspending search here because then when it resolves, we get to, uh, we have mana up to cast it. And next turn we can play around both mana tithe and force spike with our bird of paradise, so. All right. Next time we got him a lot of mana. One, two, three, four, five. So we're probably just going to play Master of the Wild Hunt because I don't want to get wrecked. Interesting. Old Scrublandio. I think they have six there. That's interesting. <laughs> sure. Still Dromoka, I think. I think it could be Angel of Sanctions, I guess. But, like, we get to resolve Vraska here, so I can't actually imagine... 
Like, this destroys an artifact or creature or enchantment, so no matter what they get. Yeah, that's fine. Obnoxious, but fine. One, two, three, four. We also have four. So now you get to choose between Master of the Wild Hunt or Varaska, which is nice. Oh. That's pretty good. <laughs> I think that puts us in really good shape here. I don't want to play more lands because we can still get value off this guy at some point, and we don't actually need the lands currently. Good games. All right. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Oh, I actually totally forgot the Angel Sanctions went to our graveyard. That's insane. Like, they actually, we killed their Angel Sanctions, then we just get a free spell. That's in, I totally forgot about that. That's pretty cool. Our deck seems great. Whenever I get to watch the stream, I'm asking if it's Frank or if it's Frank and the sad man. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's funny and it's sad at the same time. Just like the sad man. Let's play first. I actually like this hand because of Sylvan Library. So I think that's, uh, I think I'll use any excuse to not have to mulligan. I'm like, oh, I'm mulligan, so I'm just going to keep this hand and justify it with Sylvan Library. Sylvan Library is a great card. Plus, depending on what we're playing against, we might be able to get a bunch of free cards here. Of course, I'm, I'm sure they're just going to go island and then they're going to force spike it. So I'm not going to get too excited, but. Oh, perfect. Oh, really? You're going to be late? You're going to be fashionable late to the party? Noble Hierarch? Since we don't have anything else to play on turn three. All right, feeling good. Oh, yeah, let's do it. It's going to be three lands. Ready? It's close. Um, I'll keep you, and I'll put you on the top. Play you. Play you. She's dead, but had to be done. Lightning, oh, okay, lightning strike. Lightning strike is better than lightning helix there. It's basically like you shot out her face, but yeah, that guy's definitely getting banishing lighted, banishing lit. Hmm. Uh, put you on top and put you on top. Yeah, no way is that dude sticking around. Banish that stupid Mitch to the Shadow Realm. Peace out, Mitch. I crushed this this die root beer, guys. What? Reclamation Sage off the top one time. Actually, Lyra's pretty good. All right, well. Put you on top, and I'll pay four to keep you. All right, fingers crossed that they can't kill a Lyra. Well, his dad did leave him some jazz cigarettes years ago. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm so afraid of... Metalworker is so terrifying. Okay, so sure, Black Lotus, Basalt, Monolith, Gilla Lotus, add six, seven, eight. Oh god. This is how we died. Ugin. Negative five everything? Negative five everything would be pretty good. Yep, that's a, that's a thing right there. So now you have Lotus, Gilded Lotus. Alright, Lotus is gone. Okay. 
So now you have these two and two other cards. The funny joke bit? Oh. Well. Let's go to the next game, I guess. Oh boy, oh boy. All right, take Arch Archangel of Thune out for Angel of Sanctions. This doesn't seem like I care about Moat. We'll bring in uh, Song of the Dryad, actually. Big fan, big fan. Uh, I don't think Flicker Whips actually does anything here. I will play first. I will keep this hand. All right, they went to six, so they're basically dead. We, we can't lose now, so that's good. That's reassuring. Oh, that was a good draw. Turn three Lyra seems really good. So if they don't kill these guys... We also went to six last game, so I don't feel terrible about that, but I was rude. Basalt Monolith. Probably getting rid of that. I don't think he does seven mana next turn. Oh, Grim Monolith. So many monoliths. Such monoliths. It's okay, I got five five power five power lifelink flyer dot deck. So it's just monolith versus five power lifelink flyers. What up, Axel? And uh these both both of these games have been pretty ridiculous. I'm gonna bring in the knight again because we're on the draw. I do like Flicker Wisp on Reclamation Sage, but we also have Frailies, and I don't think um I don't think I think it's kinda narrow to to rely on that. I wish we had some artifact bros that we could put in to uh, deal with the... I almost want to take out Path. Like, we didn't see any creatures except for... What was there? Metal Worker. I guess we want to keep it for Metal Worker, but... Uh, Linvala actually seems better here than last match. They have Metal Worker. I think it's... I might even be Sword. I'm going to cut the sword. Sword is good against the red deck, though. Oh, uh, we're not running 42. I'm trying to cut a card. You're going to go here. Like, we have so many three drops that I think it's funny that we actually haven't gone like, one drop into three drop yet. Ideally, Jade, Jade Light Ranger or... Uh, I guess that's probably it. Yeah, I could see getting Jade Light Ranger, sure. All right, well, let's see if we can win. I like winning the game. Oh, wow, not a single white source except for this bird of Paradiso. They went to six. I don't think this hand is keepable, I'm going to be honest. I like this a lot better. Is 
Especially if we can get a one drop. <sighs> yep, you're going to the bottom. Say so scry roll is great because now you don't get the, the the turn one draw Vraska feel bads. Now you get the turn one draw Ugin feel bads instead, I guess. Similar but different. Why would we take Ugin out because he's colorless? I don't get it. All right, so if they play Metal Worker, it's going to be fantastic. And then if they play anything else, it's also going to be good, so. Whoa, that's aggressive. Really? Let's try it again, I guess. That's where they go Crucible of Worlds. <laughs> It is actually where they go, Crucible Worlds. Oh, good times. Well, let's make sure that never happens because that's disgusting. Of course, they mulligan into five, get Crucible Strip Mine. That's that's where you want to be. Yeah, this this Sylvan Library is very good for us. It should let us get a second white so we can deal with. Something like that. Eh, fifth mana is pretty good anyway. There is the second white. All right, so uh, we're gonna pay four to keep you in hand. We'll put you on top. Would you like to use this ability? Yes, yes, I would. I very much would. Oh, uh, I don't actually have any unique themes in my cube. No, it's just a regular. It's 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 very reminiscent of like, it's just kind of like a good stuff cube. Um, put you on top, and put you on top for now. We could actually attack for three, four, five, six, seven. We can attack for nine here and play Nissa, which I actually think is better. Uh, what's our match record? We're 1-0 right now, and now we're 2-0, I believe. All right. This deck has uh, ended up pretty well. I'm uh, pretty okay with it. So, that's cool. I mean, we just have a really, really strong top end. So if we actually don't flood out and we have answers for, like, the broken cards, which we have so far, I think we're in pretty good shape. Um, seems fine. Vraska Relic Seeker is so much better than a Relic Seeker. That is correct. Uh, depending on which Relic Seeker you're going for, you could get a very, very good one or a very, very bad one. Oh, the Rex Sage was fantastic. Otherwise, we just would have literally lost on the spot. Four Spike. Are you ready? I think next the next time we draft, we're just gonna aggressively take four spikes and manatize and spell pierces and just like, just 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 blow them out. Uh, next turn, Linvala into Fraley's is pretty good. Then we got a Karn down the line, so.
Is there a Rex? Is Rex Age being reprinted in, in the course at 2019? That'd be insane, right? It's just a very efficient card. Let's see if you want to counter this guy. Mono Gotham's was right. We already we already played the Mono Gotham's game. Okay, that's less of a Gotham's. I actually feel better about you countering it with uh with old Manalikums. <gasps> Reclamation Sage is in 2019. Oh my god, that's real exciting. That card is gas, and I will play that over. Oh my god, I'm... how many Ojitars are we gonna have to play against here? But the answer is a lot, so she just dies immediately. It might still be worth just killing their Signet, but... Oh, boy, I don't feel good about it. I'm looking right now real quick. Oh, Rex Age is. That's so great. I'll play that over Thrashing Brawn on every day. It's easier to cast. Uh, you get to keep it on board after you use the ability. And uh, it's just so much better. Yeah, Crucible, I don't care about that much. Crucible is just getting a reprint because it's cool in, in older formats like Commander, but no one's going to be playing Crucible of Worlds in Standard. No one plays it in Modern, so... I guess I see the, the problem with Fraley's here is that they're just going to kill it, and then they're going to get to untap and have all their mana. Or they Force of Will it. Nope, no Force of Will. Okay. One, two, three, four... Yeah, all right. Uh, whatever, just comment into a player. Actually, they might not get to... If they go to kill Fraley's, they don't get to peek, so... Uh, it doesn't matter if it dies to Chain Whirler because it's already done the damage. Like, it's... The damage is already done, so... I could care less about that. I actually just want the creature. Like, if they don't have Chain Whirler, cool. I get a 2-1. Like, the, the problem is, like, you're going to use this... The reason you're bringing in cards like Reclamation, Sage, or Bronton on is, is because they have creatures that you want to kill, or artifacts and enchantments that you want to kill, rather. So being able to use this and kill those and still be be left of the body is very, very good. Like, you're probably not playing it against decks with, uh, with Chain Whirler anyway, unless it's post... Oh, this is actually interesting. Unless it's a... God, that's annoying. Well, that's sad, but I still think it's worth getting rid of the Karn. I mean, we traded Karn for Ojitai, so it's fine. And three and three life. I think Bronson on fits in infinitely less main decks because it actually costs infinitely fewer main decks because it costs double green. It's actually very hard to cast. And then they have, if you're trying to kill an enchantment or an artifact with it, they have a whole turn because you can't cast it on turn three and then kill their thing. So like they have a whole turn to get rid of it before you can actually utilize the effect that you actually want from it. So I don't know. That's just my... Yeah, Brontodon's a better main deck card. I agree with that because it's obviously a 3-4, you know, and you can just play it. You can just, just jam it in your deck because it's a 3-4. If you don't have to kill an artifact or an enchantment, no big deal. Well, that was extremely loud. Uh, no blocks. It's actually very good. If it resolves, and we just happened to hit this black source last turn. They can't cryptic command us. Oh, they can't actually do anything because of Jeromoka. <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm a fan of that. I mean, I feel like Jamoka is actually pretty OP here. They're just going to use their true name nemesis to kill all of our planeswalkers, it seems. 
which is it is what it is because we're getting value out of them so I like these lands we're drawing. These are actually pretty sweet. But not really. Go to eight. All right. Well, I guess we're just hoping you don't draw anything cool. Hoping you don't have Sphinx's Rev in hand. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's obnoxious. But we're at 20, so we got time. So 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We have 11, 12 mana. So we can actually play this and Elspeth next turn. That's cool. What? And that's what we draw? Get out of town. The universe is a simulation, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how else to say it, but... Uh... I wish you guys can click. Can someone clip that, please? Because that is uh, not realistic. Well, excuse me. So again, true name nemesis is gonna get through. We get to eat a guy. Oh, ancestral recall. That's a that's a hell of a recovery card. This isn't going to be good. I mean, it was the perfect draw. Like, it was a great draw, but... Oh, dig through time. All right, so I guess you're just literally drawing everything. So you just get to look 10 cards deep this turn. No big deal. Actually, you get you draw for your turn. You get three from Ancestral. That's four. Seven from Dig. You get 11. You just dig 11 cards deep this turn. That's pretty good. I imagine you'll find an answer for Dramoka 11 cards deep. That is my guess, anyway. That's pretty annoying. Three, four, five, six, seven. They all go at Elspeth. They all have to go at Elspeth, right? Oh, that this guy can stay home, I guess. Yep. Ugin one time. That's pretty good, I guess. Oh, okay. So you actually, it's funny because if we attack everything at this, she still stays at two and then you get to draw like a million cards. We'll just put you there. Brickbeard, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate it. Simulation part infinity. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, well. Send me an angel. Oh. Oh, control magic into an it signet. Seems good. <sighs> Got a Rex Sage or a Council's Judgment or a Harmonize into one of those things. Isn't Dragon Lord Jermoka just better to steal? Yep, that's not what we're looking for. Three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, and that's game. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure Angel of Sanctions is just better than Archangel of Thune in our deck. Song of Dryads also seems very, very good. Moat, not so great. I think that seems fine. I'm okay with it. Like, we had a ton of answers. We had Banishing Light, Council's Judgment, Rex Sage, Ugin. 
sand is great if we uh, had a million years. Uh, I'm going to mulligan it. And this hand's much better, actually. I will keep and... I'm putting it on the bottom because we have judgment already, so... <laughs> oh, the old black. Of course we lose to the Black Lotus Ancestral Recall deck. Like you do. So now they just go Island, Black Lotus, Dragon Lord Ojitai. Seems good. I mean, I'm going to kill it, but I'm not going to feel great about it. Brian H. of the $3 on Patreon. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. I don't know if you're watching or not, but uh, thank you for the support. How does it feel to call it always? I mean, sometimes good, sometimes pretty bad. Sometimes pretty bad. Oh, they have Mana Leak. I actually would have played something else if I knew if I remembered that, but I, I, I guess we're good. This is actually risky, but for four, like, to deal four, they have to deal four damage to this land. Otherwise, it just starts beating them down. Actually, Council's Judgment was such a perfect draw. Like, they have Ojitai, which has Hexproof. And this might be the only card that could have dealt with it for three mana. That's actually pretty insane. Hmm. All right, so you have double white up, so we can actually frailies and destroy your thing. This feels pretty good. Send me a fray. Look at these, look at these legendary ladies doing some hard work, doing some heavy lifting here. Tomato, this is my tomato. Give me a land, give me a forest here so we can actually do some work. Jade Light Ranger. Let's create a dude. We can add one, two, three, untap both of these. If we go sword, actually, yeah, we can do this, this works. This works very well, actually. Untap you and you. One, two, equip you. Kill the tomato. Kill the tomato. Just like clicking on my Planeswalker's post, actually, just to make sure we... Uh, Nissa's ultimate is seven, not, not five or six. So, Are you asking what it is? Uh, search your library for any number of basic land cards, put them on the battlefield, and shuffle your library. Those lands become 4-4 elementals with tramples. So uh, it's a little scary if they have Wrath of God. So I don't know if we want to play that just yet, but I have a feeling they're going to play Phantasmal. No, they can't play Phantasmal Image here. Dig through time. Okay. You're lucky I killed so many of your cards. Doesn't matter. Two planeswalkers and a sword of fire and ice is apparently enough to get the job done. Oh, 
all right. I think our deck is good. I think they have a lot of powerful cards, though. I'm a little afraid of them. <laughs> Dig save and modern confirmed. Oh, boy. I mean, if you want to go, like, if you want to waste Enlightened Tutor, Black Lotus, and Dragon Lord Ojitai, and then we're just going to be like, get rid of it. Council of Judgment, you. That's pretty good for us. I don't know if I love this hand, but Sylvan Library is pretty good. I'll keep it. Okay, well. Oh, boy. Trinium Nemesis, turn one. <laughs> Ancestral Recall. Lotus into Recall. And the island into true name nemesis. Oh boy. Seems good. I mean, we're going to take a few hits, but I would like to say that they're down cards, but I mean, they ancestral, so they're not. And a Riftwing Cloudscape. We'll keep our eye on that guy. I'm not going to attack here because I just want to keep Path up. If they do something to our Avacyn's Pilgrim, I just want to be able to get a land. I mean, there's still a chance. They could also just have mana leak. There's one, one half of the equation. And there's the other. That's pretty good. So we're going to play a land here. What else do we do? We can't wreck sage. Like, they have to have mana leak in hand, right? They haven't played anything. I, I don't really want to draw an extra card here, but... We could wait until next turn, see if they do anything. Harmonize this turn. If we only draw one card, we're going to put two back. We have six. We play land, harmonize, we go to four, and then we go back up to seven. Um, put you on top. Put you on top. Seems good. I think they know they have to protect this, so that seems fine. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, God. Okay, so I mean, like, I have no reservations about winning this game. But I think we had a good run. We went 2 1 and uh, got to do it with the sweet stipulation. even happening right now what really it's aggressive Are we getting control magic those are exiled actually we need this up so I know what to that was weird that was a weird play because now we can just replay it and play council's judgment on this guy we take four but yeah, control magic. Seems fine. I 
I mean, we have Fraley's and Rex Sage for the uh, the control magic, so I'm not terribly concerned with that. If we had one more mana, we could have Rex Sage too, which would have been great. All right, so now we can just queue up the card we know about. You're going to bounce my white land. That's interesting, because this keeps us off... That would have kept us off double white if you bounced this guy, but I imagine you're just going to kill it this turn. Keep it tapped down. Seems good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just dead here. Vanishing Light would be nice, but then we still go to one. You can go Bird Path... One shy of Rex Age. Put on top. Put on top. Land. Let's just get as much mana out as we can. I mean, they could go tap down bird, control magic, wreck sage, and then attack it. Put us to one, and then it's almost pretty unbeatable. Because we have to deal with two guys. But I guess we get to untap that pilgrim. Wrath of God. Course of Portal. Interesting. Wow. This is not the turn I expected it to be at all. One, two, three, four, five, six. We are one mana shy. One, two, three, four, five. We can play Nyssa. Untap four, four. We can go one, two, three, four, five. Untap four. Untap this. If we play Lyra, they steal her. We could play Angel of Sanctions and then path it. Doesn't seem great. I think we really just want to play the, the Razor Verge Thicket here and then play a five drop. Alternatively, we could play Forest Attack Tamio, which means they have to block with one of these. That might be better. Or they'll just let Tamio die, then they tap. Well, then they can't tap down this. They could control magic this and kill us with both of these. So that doesn't seem good. Let's get rid of Tamio. All right, not dead yet. <sighs> Three to 20, they have course of portal. We have a frailies to get rid of that. They have a control magic. We have a Freelies to get rid of that, too. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go. Let's giddy up and go. And now we had to die, okay. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we're dead now. They tapped down a Reclamation Sage and kill us. Yep. That'll do. All right, well, we came close. We tried. Stimulation was still definitely very sweet. I think our deck performed very, very well. And uh, thank you so, so much, Judge so Key, for for uh, supporting us and uh, and uh, you know contributing. Uh, I, I wasn't sure what I was gonna how I was gonna say that there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you on Twitch, I'm not leaving yet. I'm just gonna actually end the YouTube video. If you're on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon. Uh, the information is in the chat or in the uh, description below, along with my Twitch profile. And I'll see you guys next time.